Good afternoon. Um, my name is Nicola Lewis and I'm the global CEO of Finecast. Thank you for having me here with you today. I was lucky enough to be in your wonderful country last week, visiting clients and our fantastic team in Mumbai. I wish I'd been able to stay another week to be with you in person today. Instead, I'm back in Barcelona speaking to you virtually at the Connected TV conference. I want to spend the next 10 minutes sharing some of my thoughts regarding the CTV landscape and importantly, the significant opportunity it affords to advertisers. To do so, it's important to take a step back and to look at the total size of the opportunity. From a global perspective and at Finecast, we always have our eye on projected growth numbers. On a global level and by 2025, we're forecasting that the addressable TV opportunity will reach 45 billion. This figure is representative of growth in CTV penetration, increase in set-top box consumption, and new emerging forms of TV, including HPB TV and NextGen, for example. If we focus on India itself, the growth trajectory is driven by multiple factors. CTV homes are expected to reach between 40 to 45 million by 2025 and throughout that year. In addition, broadband penetration in India is now at 32 million. It was 27 million in March 2022 and will continue to grow well into 2023. We also see that CTV daily audiences are growing at pace with a compound annual growth rate of 45% between 21 and 2026. And of course, smart TV shipments are also growing exponentially, plus 45% in Q4 in 2022 alone. The continued emergence of fast channels within OEMs will also bring an ever-growing influx of content into the Indian TV ecosystem. Based on all of this, and from a fine cost perspective, we're exploring many avenues of innovation and product development to enhance the advertiser opportunity. Starting with targeting, the accuracy of which CTV can serve an ad at a household level plays a crucial role in building the addressable TV ecosystem. Today in India, we can target CTV households at a pin code level. And we're further focused on breaking down those PIN codes to geo polygon grids so that we're able to deliver enhanced geo granularity, which, of course, is a core aspect to Finecast. What this will do is to help brands go hyper local, which ultimately will continue to prove out ROI for addressable television. Additionally, um, and on a global level, we're currently working on several proof of concept projects to show how we can leverage first, second and third party data to further enhance our targeting capabilities. A luxury jewellery brand, for example, can use their CRM database to target customers to boost their e-commerce sales. And these are all processes that we're looking to implement again on a global level that use data clean rooms, ensuring that our approach to data is always 100% privacy compliant. Learnings across targeting like this mean that CTV and streaming viewers continue to be considered high value consumers as they tend to have higher purchase intent and are more likely to engage with ads that are relevant and personalized at a household level. Specific to India, this does as well serve to drive high returns on advertising investment when targeting CTV um, and streaming audiences. We've also worked with clients in Europe to integrate search intent data into their campaigns, which is a really future facing initiative. And a great example is the fast food category, whereby we've matched delivery timings based on when people are searching for fast food menus, enabling us to distinguish between weekday and weekend behaviors, and of course, regional differences across countries with the final layer being optimization of creative based on search intent data within the addressable TV campaign. We're also focused on exploring opportunities with ACR, so automated content recognition, which is the ability to garner more insights based on the type of content being consumed at a household level. Again, this is a strategic priority for India and one that really serves to drive opportunity for clients. Measurement's also incredibly important. 
within addressable TV, with brands seeking out CTTV as a way to leverage longer ad formats, which are not only cost effective, but are also able to build high brand awareness and audience engagement, all measurable using brand lift studies. Globally, within this space, we're constantly innovating. So looking at fusing panel um, industry data with um, bespoke measurement strategies, um, and as in fact, moving as far as to building um, in new emerging metrics such as attention. From a creative perspective, we've also worked extensively across key fine cost markets to test out dynamic creative and new innovative ad formats from shoppable ads to QR codes, from virtual product placement to new and emerging interactive formats. Test markets include the UK, US, Canada, Australia, and soon to be India, all with a view to continuously increasing impact and ROI for clients, advertisers, and brands. In fact, this week we launched Addressable Advantage, which is a market-leading research piece that serves to understand the emotional response to addressable TV ads undertaken in partnership with System One, who's a leader in the field of advertising effectiveness. The research itself, Addressable Advantage, driving business growth with addressable TV, delivers into the emotional TV sorry, delves into the emotional um, response TV ads invoke and the associated impact on a client's business growth. Conducted over a six month period, the findings were not only hugely insightful, but paved the way for redefining the way we think about and the approach to addressable TV advertising. The research revealed greater long-term impact. The ads shown to addressable TV audiences leveraged 3.0 stars, ranking them in the top 33% of all ads. And quicker response, showing that addressable TV audiences respond more intensely to ads than the broader audience, indicating a potential for better short-term business um, effects. But it also showed us things like the importance of right brain free features. So ads with melody, with people, with humor, and familiar faces produce more positive reactions, which in turn led to long-term business growth. What these findings do is to reinforce the power of addressable TV and strengthen our position in the marketplace. Finally, market coverage has to be a consideration for clients and for brands, and that's to have a product that can deliver to a consistently high standard globally whilst respecting market nuance. From a fine cost perspective, we don't only focus on markets that are already established. Instead, we work hard to create and build markets, ensuring that when the time is right, as it is now in India, we've created the infrastructure required to leverage the precision of data on the big screen, providing a single point access to the addressable ecosystem. By doing so, we've worked with many brands around the world to undertake their journey alongside them of addressable TV transformation. And as I said, great examples of this include Indonesia, Australia, India, and soon to be the likes of Mexico, all with the ability to share learnings across the globe and development of proof of concepts within such a wonderfully nascent space. So as you can see from a fine cast point of view, the future of TV, both in India and globally, is incredibly bright, and we will continue to provide significant opportunity for brands and advertisers. Thank you and have a wonderful afternoon.